The Road Warrior Wizards arriving at the arena. That look tells us they're ready to get down to the task at hand. Happy holidays, everyone, from all of us at 2K Sports. Thanks for joining us at this most special time of the year. I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill, and the fourth member of our crew, reporter Allie LaForce. Now a moment to take a look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it's been trending for Andrew Wiggins. And when you look at his offensive output over the past few years, it seems like other teams have figured him out and have his number now. He's having to put in a lot more effort on the offensive end, but without producing nearly the same results. So a look at our starters for the Wizards. Jones and Poole teaming up in the backcourt. Kuzma, the four, down low with Gafford next to him. And it's Avdia in at the three. And for Golden State, Jonathan Kaminga is out there with Klay Thompson. Then there's Stephen Curry, then there's Kevon Looney, and it's Pajemski in at the two. And now that we've had a decent percentage of the season completed, Doris, what do you think is crucial for these teams to focus on heading into the second half? I think for the most part, organizations start to hone in on a couple things. Health, and then how do you pace yourself down the stretch of the season? You know, you see so much conversation about load management. Teams and players realize it's a very long season and the best is yet to come with the playoffs. Now here's Curry. Looney, a screen on Jones. Curry's shot is off. Pass to Poole. On the wing, Jones. And they pick up two. And setting the tempo with an assertive move, like, where was the defense on that play? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Now here's Thompson. His last outing, he had 24 points. To the paint. Here's Kaminga. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Well, there's no question that the Warriors are the team of the decade, Grant. Oh, I mean, B.A., think about it. Six finals appearances in eight years. They did miss the playoffs in two of those seasons, but they still came away with four championship rings, plus two MVP trophies. Not bad. One shot. And that one misses. You know, one place this Wizards team has been very effective is in the restricted area. Well, that's the coveted shot in the NBA to consistently score deep inside that painted area. The Wizards know high percentage looks, and they really get after it on the interior. Yeah, Kyle Kuzma, we think of him as a scorer, but that was a tough target to miss. Wide open. Curry with it. He's putting up some terrific numbers. Over 28 a game. The three from Thompson. Gafford grabs the miss. Just enough of a shot contest to bother. Kuzma finds Jones. Gafford with a screen on Curry. To the middle. And the dunk by Gafford. Well, what he lacks in size for a typical center, he makes up for with all that athleticism. Boy, can he elevate. Curry passes to Thompson. To the wing on the left. Pass to Kaminga. Jacks up a three. He drops it from range. Kaminga's got five points. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Gafford with the ball. Now Kuzma. Here's Avdia. Pool outside. Just five on the clock, and here's Jones from downtown, gets the three to fall. Jones has gotten his second bucket. Boy, four for four to get things started. Must have been a good shoot around this morning. Outside Curry, there's the three, and the Warriors with another three. And how many times have we seen this? Curry always has an answer from three. 
Jones, the pass to Gafford. Now here's Kuzma with the drive. And he gets that one. Yeah, there's no quitting this guy. He just gives you great effort, and he continues to give you great production. Now here's Thompson. His offense has been fantastic, averaging just over 17 a game. Outside Kaminga. Back to Thompson. Gafford grabs the miss. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. And they should, because it's when you start turning down that kind of look that your offense can start to bog down a bit. Kuzma with the ball, now guarded by Curry. Kuzma, the pass to Jones, inside. And here's Gafford, cool outside, from outside the arc. No luck on that one. Here's Pajemski, guarded by Poole. Outside Curry. Pass to Pajemski. Here's Looney. He's guarded by Gafford. Outside Curry. From behind the arc. Gafford grabs the miss. Gafford's got four rebounds in the game. Poole finds Jones. Kuzma outside. Let's go with a three. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. Pass to Pajemski. Here's Looney. On the wing, Curry. Driving to the basket. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Curry's got five. We spend so much time thinking about Stephen Curry's shooting ability and probably don't talk enough about how elite his handle is. Now here's Gafford. Right now, contributing around 10 and a half points a game. Great finish. What a setup. Terrific ball movement there. Now Curry. There's the triple. Knocks down the triple. Give him eight points now. Wow, how about the start to this game? Taking excellent shots, capitalizing on everything the defense is giving him. This is great stuff. Here's Obdia. No points so far. Kuzma, left side. Here's Obdia, defended by Thompson. Pass to Jones, from the arc. It's rebounded by Golden State. Here's Pajemski. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Curry with a seal, and he comes up with a bucket. Boy, it seems like every shot he puts up, it's going in. This guy is hot. Curry against Jones. And here is Kuzma. To the inside. Here's Gafford. Count it. All three of his attempts have gone in. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. It's Thompson. High post. Pass to Pajemski. Now Looney. Defended by Jones. And here's Curry for three. Another three for Golden State. Curry knows what his team is doing to set him up. In that instance, just get him the ball in the catch-and-shoot game. And so it's Poole who brings up the ball for the Wizards. First chance of the year for them to go up against this Warriors team. Kuzma with the ball. Jones sets a screen. Clock at six. Kuzma, that's good. Kuzma's got seven points. Kyle Kuzma doing work in the painted area. That's beautiful. Well, the unique pregame fashion sense of Kyle Kuzma always seems to be generating buzz for us. I like it, VA. He is very tapped into the fashion world. He certainly has shown off some intriguing, shall we say, looks on his way into the building. But I am all about it. Now here's Jones. In his last outing, 16 points for him. Cool shot is off. The Warriors have gotten seven of their first 12 shots to go. And here is Thompson. Pass to Pajemski. Golden State needs to get off a shot. 
And here's Curry for three. Counted from distance. 16 points for him. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Now Gafford. Kuzma outside. Pass to Abdia. Kuzma against Thompson. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. The doors the Wizards have some star power, but they're kind of stuck in the middle of things. B.A., unless you have top three agents coming your way, it is so hard to get over the hump. It's about drafting well. Your player development has to be next level. It is not easy for the Washington Wizards right now. good from Kuzma and with a single punch in last season's training camp it seems the Warriors culture of joy and togetherness really took a hit Grant you know I agree B.A. and that's what they need to recover from you know keeping that connection and commitment to a common purpose is so crucial to winning It's also good, so he hits both free throws. This is hard to believe, Grant, but the Wizards haven't been to the conference finals since 1979. It is hard to believe. I mean, they've had some fantastic players over the years. But let me tell you, these fans in my hometown are hungry for a deep playoff run. And the shot's good by Wiggins. We're on a case where he dominates in close, but Wiggins so versatile on offense. Poole with a ball. He's been an offensive weapon for them, scoring around 17 and a half points a game. Wiggins outside. Ball against Poole. Pass to Thompson. Now here's Paul. Now here's Sharich. We saw him with 11 points in his last game. Pure from three-point range. Wiggins got his second basket of the night. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. Poole, the pass to Gafford. Here's Poole. Back to Kuzma. Pass to Gafford. Kuzma, left side. Now Gafford. Kuzma with the ball. Sharage covers. Poole, shot is off. This has not been his best quarter. And you know what? They keep calling his number, and they're simply trying to get him out of this funk. Now here's Looney. Yet to see a basket. Here's Sharic. And he's off on his first shot of the game. And that closeout certainly made a difference. Well, no question. He altered that shot. And most of the time, that's just as good as blocking it. Looney against Kuzma. To the left wing. Pass to Kispert. Kuzma outside. Here's Kulabali. The three drills it from deep. And this night already has the makings of an offensive war. Well, the fans love it. Coaches may not like the lack of defense, but boy, the rules promote scoring, no doubt. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. You can get away with one once in a while, but it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Gallinari, he's checked in for Washington. Shamit comes in for Poole. It's Kuzma with the miss. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Pass to Curry. Back to Wiggins. There's a minute 12 left in the first quarter. And here's Sharich. Three-pointer. He's off on that one. Here's Kispert, pounded by Wiggins. Here's Shamit, and stolen by Paul. And he lays it in. And the Warriors lead by three. Boy, it's incredible how many times Chris Paul has led the league in steals. This guy has active hands. 
Here's Shaman. He's guarded by Paul. For three. Sends it home from three-point land. Three ball. And that ties it up. You simply must play better defense than that. This guy is too good from distance. Paul looking it over. Outside Curry. The three. Gallinari pulls it in. And so Gallinari will bring it up for the Wizards. The fadeaway. And there are the Wizards with another bucket. Boy, nice shot. He didn't need the fadeaway to create separation, though. He was wide open. And a deep three from Curry. No good. Misses at the buzzer. And so it's Kyle Kuzma making highlights for the Wizards. And during that quarter, he was everywhere. Just wreaking havoc. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far all right a look at how the points have been generated so far a scoring breakdown for the Wizards they've done a great job establishing an inside presence now that'll open up more options offensively throughout the remainder of the game yeah and in addition their ball movement has really unleashed their offense boy they've been fun to watch small lineup with Paul and Curry pairing up in the backcourt then there's Dario Saric then it's Andrew Wiggins, and it's Jackson Davis in at the power forward position. That's the group for Golden State as we kick off the second quarter. Here's Kuzma, his fourth make in five tries. Solid start for him. Sometimes with that much of a height advantage, resistance is futile. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Warriors head coach Steve Kerr has somewhat of a hands-off approach. He said, quote, coaching isn't controlling. My goal by the end of the year is to just sit there and do nothing. And that means it works because that's what a coach's job is. It's not to pull strings, call every play and direct traffic. It's to say, this is your team. EA? Yeah, that's how you have to think about it, right? Thanks, Allie. Golden State has gotten 6 of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. Here's Wiggins. Rebound Washington. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. Kuzma for three. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. He's been a steady presence for them. Nice to have that kind of safety net at the offensive end. Now here's Curry. He's covered closely. Pass to Jackson Davis. And here's Sharich. Shot clock at five. Outside Curry. Launches a three. The rebound by Shamit. After scoring with ease in the first quarter, he's really cooled down a bunch here. All right, let's take a look at some numbers for Stephen Curry. And his effective field goal percentage isn't in the best place right now. Over the last five games, he hasn't had much shot discipline. He'll be looking to play a lot smarter today. Shots. Shoot two. That free throw, no good. Well, Doris, looking at the pace of the game now, that has to be a big factor in load management. B.A., there's no doubt that the game is more spread out and it's played at a faster pace. So much, though, goes into that load management discussion that is so volatile at times. Here are the facts, though. People are more aware because of the data we have from medical science that the season is challenging. And so teams are going to manage their greatest resource, which is the players, carefully. Load management is not going anywhere. When the defense totally lost track of him, he punishes them with a three-pointer. That's a bad decision. Now Paul. Outside Curry. Let's it go from deep. Curry splashes it in. Even with all the threes he nailed in the first 
first quarter, the defense still hasn't made the proper adjustments. Pass to Kuzma. Outside Gallinari from deep. It's hauled in by Sharich. Golden State has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Takes a step back. Outside Curry. Wiggins outside. Down low. Now here's Sharich. That one drops for him. And now just a two-point Washington lead. This guy is an efficient scorer. Dario Sharich knows his strengths on the offensive end and can capitalize. Pass to Kispert. Here's Shaman. He's guarded by Paul. And the foul on Chris Paul. That's his first foul. So great for the defense. I mean, he took the hit, but he didn't get the call. Avdia, he's checked in for Washington. Jones comes in for Shamit. On the wing, Kuzma. Outside Jones. Six on the shot clock. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And now look at the teams who excelled at rebounding over the last month. The Warriors, number one. And last month, this team was active on the glass. Really put forth an effort to box out and track down misses. The Warriors trailing. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Fires for three. Curry, no good. Washington has gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. Pass to Gallinari. Here's Kuzma. Yes, it's good. Kuzma's got seven points here in the quarter. Now uh, there's an efficiency and a flow to what's happening on the offensive end for Kyle Kuzma right now. Outside Curry, the three is up. He's got it. His ninth make out of 15 tries. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. That's a decent look for him. He just couldn't convert. Pass to Kaminga. Fires the three. Another three for Golden State. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. And so it's Jones who brings up the ball for Washington. This game coming after the loss versus the Kings. <laughs> it's always hard to get a win on the road, especially when you show zero energy on the defensive end. One thing you know, Greg, is you've got to pack your defense in the suitcase if you're going to win on the road, and they simply did not bring it. And here's Sharich for three. Count it. Two for four from the field now. Such a problem with Sharich is knocking down the three. It helps space the floor for his teammates. You've got to guard him there. Now a timeout called by Washington. Time to get up and make some noise for your Warriors. And the Warriors making a switch here. Looney's checked in. Gafford, he's checked in for Washington. For your Warriors, dance team. The Wizards have gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. Pass to Koulibaly. And here's Gafford. On the wing, Kuzma. He's watched by Kuminga. Here's Gafford. And the dunk by Gafford. How good a playmaker are we watching? Always leading, always trying to create for others. Now here's Wiggins. Looney up top. Outside Curry. Let's it go from deep. Another three for Golden State. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. Gafford with a screen on Curry. Jones, the pass to Gafford. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Gafford's gotten four this quarter. The Warriors leading. Here's Curry. 27 points for him. His first shot attempt. Oh, look at Looney finding space inside. 
Well, at this point, if you get the ball into Steph Curry's hands, good things will happen. He's toying with the defense out of the pick and roll. Pass to Koulibaly. Now Gafford on the wing. Kuzma. Gafford with a screen on Kaminga. Here's Kuzma. That one a little long. What a masterful job on the defensive end. Did everything possible to alter that shot. To the paint. Here's Looney. And here is Kaminga. Wiggins left side. Over Avdia. Oh, Wiggins with the silky touch at the rim. He drops yet another dive. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Kuminga against Kuzma. Pass to Avdia. Here's Koulibaly. Outside Jones. The three ball. It's rebounded by Golden State. That's staying connected to the shooter and timing the contest. Here's Wiggins. And it's good. And Assisting good. on the play was Curry. Curry's got three assists in the game. Knew exactly where his teammate would be. That's a product of good chemistry. The Wizards have gotten six of their 12 attempts to go since the end of the first. Now a timeout called by Washington. They're looking to do something to stop this run. They have to get back on track. Really needs to settle his guys down right now and get them refocused. Ladies and gentlemen, your Warriors, you can see. Clay Thompson, he's checked in for the Warriors. Make some noise for your Warriors, Junior Jam Squad. to Kispert. Here's Avdia. He's watched by Kuminga. Poole from long range. Nails it from three. Poole's got five now. Oh, nice feed. On time and on target. Well, Denny Avdia was born in Israel, where we don't see many NBA players hail from, doors. No, B.A., definitely a rare sight. He is just the fourth player for Israel since 2010 to debut in the NBA. This is why we love the game. It has such a worldwide reach. And the Wizards with possession here. The Warriors getting their last shot to go. Cool with the ball. And Looney picks him up defensively. Here's Gafford. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Second personal foul. You know, that was an excellent play right there. Using his strength to power through contact. Daniel All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. They've done a great job facilitating shooters. Their early game has seen a lot of hot passes and has kept the defense guessing as well. The other thing that's gone exceptionally well for them tonight is the shooting they've displayed from beyond the three-point arc. That free throw good from Gafford. And Curry's got the ball here for the Warriors. They've led by as much as 10. Coming into this, having knots to win against Boston in their last game. An incredible fourth quarter response. It showed this team's character. I mean, they stunned everyone. The defense wants to collapse on Stephen Curry. It gives him a great opportunity to make a pass and have his teammate get a good look. Oh, using that sweet stroke. Poole connects from deep. Well, after hitting zero from distance in the first, that's his second make this quarter. Curry finds Kaminga. Yep, that one's good. Ten points for him. Hey guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Pass to Gafford. Now here's Jones. Gafford with a screen on Curry. And here's Poole. To the inside, Gafford. And a missed layup. And the Warriors with possession. They lead by seven. Here's Pajemski. On the wing, Curry pulls up. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Curry's got 13 points now in the quarter. I'll tell you, this guy is proving to be a problem for the defense. In this quarter, he has been special. 
Poole against Curry. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Poole outside. And it's Washington with another. I'll tell you, he's having his way right now in the second period. Forget the first quarter. Let's get to work. Pass to Looney. On the wing, Thompson. Still no points. The three from Curry. Another three for Golden State. And so far, there's been tremendous cohesion offensively this quarter. Curry against Jones. He takes it in. And he makes it on the layup. Jones has got seven points in the game. It doesn't get any easier than that. The defense has to play better. Pass to Looney. Now here's Curry. And a miss there on the triple. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Avdia passes to Poole. And here's Gafford. Jones with the ball. Just five on the clock. That shot missing. Outside Curry. There's the triple. Curry knocks down a contested three. He played well in the first quarter, but now he's taking it to the next level. Here's Jones. He has seven. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. Paul, he's checked in for the Warriors. And a change for the Wizards. Kuzma's checked in for Kispert. Paul against Jones. On the wing, Thompson. Six to shoot. Oh, swiped away. And so it's the Golden State Warriors closing out the quarter ahead by 11 points. They've been very effective from the three-point line. That's the key for them so far. Back to the game after this break. Hey there, everybody. Shaq says hi. Kenny says hi, too. Yes, we are in the midst of the NBA season and a perfect time to see how things are coming together in the West. Well, looking at the Warriors, they're frustrated, and you can understand their frustration. They were expected to be good this year. Their fan base was fired up, but it just hasn't come together. And looking now at that first half of action, quite a big deficit for the Wizards. Well, the obvious problem is the perimeter defense. And it's not all their fault. Sometimes a team just gets hot. But at the same time, at some point, you have to force shooters to put the ball on the floor and beat you some other way. It's a conundrum. And that's a wrap on halftime. Thanks for watching as we send you back to BA to call the second half. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Stephen Curry having a dominant impact in this game. Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for him. And then, of course, executing. Well, one of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end. And boy, this young guy has done just that. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. Here's who Wes Unsell Jr. is starting in the second half. At the two and the three, Avdia and Poole. Kuzma, the four, down low with Gafford next to him. And it's Jones in at the one. Kuzma, the pass to Avdia. Shot clock at six. Back to Kuzma. Floats one, and he gets the bucket. Kuzma's got 18. Well, how about the Denny. floater game from Kyle Kuzma? 
Jones against Curry. Here's Looney. Fires for three. Curry's shot is off. Poole outside. Pass to Jones. Puts up a three. Warriors with the rebound. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Curry passes to Thompson. Here's Pajemski, defended by Jones. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. There's no debate there. He got hammered. At the line for the Dubs. First one falls. And so he makes both from the line. So it's Washington now. They trail by 11. They'll be off to Portland for a meeting with the Trailblazers after this one. It'll be the fourth of five games for them on the road. 11 feet out. Good on the jump shot. Jones. Jones has got nine. Third quarter of play with just over one and a half minutes gone by. Curry looking it over. Thompson a screen on Jones. The three from Curry. Connects again from distance. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable, B.A. Unbelievable. Kuzma outside. The kick out to Poole. Just five to shoot. Gafford the screen. From behind the arc. The Warriors pull it in. Looney's got six rebounds here tonight. Thompson finds Curry. Kaminga with a screen on Jones. Curry's shot is off. And so it's Poole who brings up the ball for the Wizards. A 12-point game. Let's it go from 11. Looney grabs a miss. Looney's got rebound number seven tonight. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Brian, after 941 days sidelined by an ACL and then an Achilles tear, Clay Thompson's back doing what he loves. He said, quote, in the beginning, I was so eager to prove that I'm still great. Now I'm more relaxed, reminding myself that this is a dream that I'm living. What matters most is just having fun and playing hard, and all the big nights, they'll come. Brian? Yeah, that's the right perspective, Allie. Thanks for that. Here's Kuzma. The Warriors getting their last shot to go. And again, Washington, no good. Yeah, no, he usually makes you pay from that range. Curry against Jones. Curry passes to Thompson. Back to Curry. Curry draws the double. Pass to Looney. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Curry's got six assists here tonight. Oh, just an easy reverse for him. He has nice feel and touch around the bucket. Gafford up top. Here's Poole. Looking to end the run. Oh, what an effort by Poole! Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. To the middle. Here's Curry. And he lays it up and in. Curry's got 42 in the game. That's three buckets in a row off assist. Now a timeout call by Washington. Man, it's been quite a game for Stephen Curry. With the way he's cooking, they have to find a way to run him off his spot more.
for proficiency in scoring over the last month, look no further than this group. Second is Daniel Gafford. One of the hottest players in the league. He's been really sharp from the field recently. against Curry. Kuzma with a screen on Curry. Here's Gafford. And yes, it's good. He's 7 for 8 now. Golden State is gone. Only 1 of 3 from deep here in the third. Thompson passes to Kaminga. Now here's Looney. Here's Pajemski. Outside Curry. They double-team Curry. Inside. The shot by Looney, no good. I'll tell you, most of the time, this guy's going to finish that. But that was tremendous defense that prohibits him from completing the play. There's the screen by Kuzma. Jones, his shot is good. Jones. Jones has got four points now in the quarter. Boy, this guy has been terrific. The rest of the team, however, is struggling. Thompson passes to Kaminga. Here's Looney. Here's Pajemski. Pass to Curry. There's the three. Hits the trifecta. Curry's got 45 points. Well, you love his effort level, right? Particularly when it's winning time. He is going for the finish. Avdia passes to Kuzma. Oh, he hits that one. Eight for 11 and remaining a thorn in the D side. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Here's Kaminga. Washington with a rebound. Gafford's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Kuzma finds Poole. Now here's Gafford. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It's on Stephen Curry. Good man. The defender really went after him. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. What a performance for Beyond the Arc in this game. They stuck to their guns, and it's paid off all game. I think another thing that's striking here tonight, the ball movement is incredible. Right. Again right. and again, they're making Inside. smart passes to ready shooters. The first free throw is good. Kispert's checked in for Washington. He does not get the second one. The Warriors have gone five for nine from the floor in the third quarter. Thompson passes to Curry. Oh man, oh man, Kuminga with the easy bounce. Throws it down. But he might lack in height at the four spot. He makes up for it with his burst. Jones against Curry. Jones, the pass to Poole. The three is up. Sinks it from distance. Poole's got five points in the quarter. What a beautiful stroke from range. Defensively, you've got to try to take him out of his comfort zone. Gafford against Looney. Here's Pajemski. Pass to Curry. Curry draws the double. Five on the clock. And here's Thompson for three. Gafford grabs the miss. Gafford's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Poole, the pass to Jones. Gafford with a screen on Curry. Here's Jones. And Washington again with the bucket. Listen, you give a good shooter that kind of look, and it's going to go in. Outside Kaminga. Here's Pajemski, guarded by Poole. Thompson outside. Launches it. Oh, Thompson buries the trade. At his absolute best, Clay Thompson rising fire on the K. 
catch good night defense. Now a timeout called by Washington. And it's Jones with the ball for Washington. Pass to Abdia. Now Poole from outside the arc. Oh, he connects his seventh basket. He's 7 of 15 now. He's hit a pair of threes each half, making a significant impact. Curry with it. He has 45 points. Now here's Looney. Five to shoot. Pass to Kaminga. Outside Curry. Fires from deep. Gafford grabs the miss. Washington trailing. Now Jones. He's got 13. Poole with the ball. Jones, the pass to Kispert. And the Wizards with another three. I'll tell you, he'll take that all day, every day. I'm sure he was shocked to find himself that wide open. And the Warriors call time here. And get ready to move. And welcome out your Warriors, Dixie. And the Warriors makes the changes. Sharich checks in for Looney. And it's Chris Paul in for Curry. And a change for the Wizards. Gallinari, he's checked in for Gafford. Now here's Paul. Pass to Pajimski. Thompson a screen on Jones. Let's it go from 14. Rebound Washington. And that's not the look they wanted. The defender was right there. Pool outside. With a nine-footer. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. Golden State has gone three of seven from deep so far in the third quarter. Pass to Paul. And here's Sharich. Here's Thompson from deep. And the three-pointer goes. Thompson's got six here in the quarter. Well, this is his prototypical shot. Clay Thompson from three. Jones sets the screen. Poole, the pass to Gallinari. Poole outside. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be time to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. Outside Kaminga. Here's Thompson. Clay busting it up inside. Thompson from Jonathan Kaminga. And for Washington, they're shooting at around 60% on this one. Very efficient. Pass to Kispert. The third. Gallinari with a screen on Thompson. Now Poole. Let's go with a three. Hauled in by Paul. Here's Pajemski. 143 left in the third quarter. Thompson, no good. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. Jones against Paul. Fires from 14. Jones misses. Golden State has gone four of nine from beyond the arc since the break. Pass to Paul. Over Kispert. And Paul gets it to go. Paul's got his second bucket of the night. Uh, he's been under duress many times in his career. Does not let quality defense affect him. Chris Paul, great concentration. It's Abia on the wing. He's watched by Kuminga. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Great job drawing the foul. And almost converted the shot as well. Shooting for Washington. Jordan Poole. Two shots. Shoot two. One falls for him. So both teams making some changes here. <laughs> and 
And both free throws good for Poole. You can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself. It's written all over his body language. Paul finds Curry. Back to Paul. Three-pointer. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Curry's got eight assists in the game. Absolutely automatic in catch-and-shoot situations. Go ahead, CP3. We see you. Now here's Poole. 20 points for him. Pass to Kispert. 4-3. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Sharich has got rebound number five here tonight. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. There's no defense for that. Andrew Wiggins enjoying life above the rim. 23 seconds left in the third quarter. Kuzma outside. Two seconds left. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. Warriors ahead, up by 16. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter when we return. Steve Kerr with some words for his players. Great energy. Keep throwing the ball ahead. You guys are just making the simple pass. That's good stuff. Urging his team to keep pushing the break. Coach Steve Kerr. And Coach Kerr loves the energy right now. It's all about having the pace in his favor. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Small lineup with Paul and Curry pairing up in the backcourt. Then it's Andrew Wiggins. Then there's Dario Saric. And it's Jackson Davis in at the four. And that's the Warriors five. Wiggins. And they're really rolling right now. That lead keeps getting bigger and bigger. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. Now here's Gallinari. Oh, look at Gallo, the big man. What a pure shooting motion for Danilo Gallinari. And at 6'10", that special. Pass to Wiggins. And here's Paul. Can't cash in the 10-footer. Kispert on the wing. Hounded by Wiggins. Here's Shannon. Kispert. Pass to Kuzma. And the foul on Chris Paul. Chris Paul. That'll be a second foul second of the game. Foul. First team foul. Here's Shamit. He's guarded by Paul. Tries a 10-footer. Here's Koulibaly. And counts the basket. He was fouled. And he's going to the line for one more. Second team foul. Shooting for Washington, Koulibaly at the line for one. unselfishness of this team. Yeah, the willingness to make the next pass has this defense scrambled. Paul finds Wiggins. Oh! And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. You know, getting to the line at will nowadays. Wiggins wanting to improve his free throw percentage. Wiggins. Two shots. Oh, 
That one's off. And he's good on the second. And a little over a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. Right wing. Here's Gallinari. Sharic with some nice D. Yeah, and it's amazing. Their slim advantage on the board seems a lot larger than it is. Wiggins passes to Paul. Back to Wiggins. They set the screen. Pass to Jackson Davis. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. Well, coming off that screen, head up. Wiggins makes the right choice. Here's Kispert. A touch under two and a half minutes of pass now here in the fourth. Kuzma, the pass to Shamit. Another shot. And he battles for the ball. Gets a second chance bucket. Boy, the work ethic on the offensive glass just refuses to give up on that possession. Outside Curry. Shara to screen. From deep. Curry's shot is off. I know that he has the ability and confidence to sink that shot. <laughs> but better luck next time, maybe. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you've hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. Now here's Kuzma. Gallinari, the pass to Kuzma. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Koulibaly. He's covered by Curry. And it's Washington with another. In between game for Danilo Gallinari. Okay. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. They grab their own miss. Basket counts. Trace. Jackson Davis has gotten four this quarter. And he's just crushing them with plays like that. I mean, just continuing to pile it on. You want to make sure your opponent knows they have absolutely zero chance of a comeback. And nice finish by him. Now here's Kuzma. From downtown. It's hauled in by Sharich. Sharich has got a seventh rebound here tonight. Well, he had the defense's attention, dropping two threes in the first half, but he hasn't made one since. And here's what the Washington Wizards schedule looks like. On Thursday, they'll go up against the Trailblazers in Portland. Then on Friday, they'll go up against Chris Paul and the Golden State Warriors. And looking at the Raptors matchup, that's one that could easily go either way. A few mistakes could be the difference. I expect it to be a fun one. And he drops the first. Chris Paul will go down as one of the great floor generals to ever play the game. He is the maestro at orchestrating offense. And he makes both free throws. Here's Jones. Kuzma outside. Drops in the three. Kuzma's got 23. His first triple of the second half. That makes three for the game. Curry passes to Looney. To the paint. Outside Curry. The three. The rebound by the Wizards. Kuzma's got his fifth rebound in this one. Pass to Jones. And here's Poole. Gafford with the ball. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. He's really taking care of the ball. That's just his first turnover of the night. Coming out of the floor for your warrior. Number two. And here's Kuminga. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Now here's Curry. Outside Kuminga. 
Down low. Looney passes to Thompson. Over Kuzma. And the Warriors miss again. And that's where you want to make the next pass. This guy is a good scorer, but the defense was right on him. Deflected. Here's Gafford. Golden State has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Here's Pajemski. Outside Curry. Shot on the wing. That one falls. Curry's got 47 points. Well, the pick and roll is a play that Curry loves to operate, and he's always asking and seeking opportunities in this kind of situation. Kuzma. It's good from the top of the key. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. You know, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. It's been an ugly quarter for him. Trying to shoot his way out of it. Might be time to work on the playmaking skills. Here's Kuzma, the kick out to Poole. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Second version of foul. Third team foul. Curry against Jones. to me created because of Steph Curry's defense. This guy is doing enough to influence the shot. Pass to Kaminga. Here's Pajemski, guarded by Poole. And here's Kaminga for three. That's basket number six in eight tries. Now you have to extend that defense. I mean, you really have to stay connected to him at all times. Well, you know this. This is a guy who's looking for his shot the whole time. You have to know who you're guarding. KYP, know your personnel. Here's Avdia. Here's Gafford. Back to Avdia. Just four to shoot. Off target with the three. Golden State has gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. Thompson against Poole. Thompson passes to Kaminga. Takes a three. He's got a piece of it. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. At the line for the Wizards, Kyle Kuzma. At the line for one. I think we've certainly seen Kyle Kuzma grow in his maturity and understanding about the game. It's not always about the scoring. It's what contributes to winning, and he has really grown in that aspect. Here's Pajemski. And it's good. Bronze. Assisting on the play was Curry. And the Warriors lead by 15. You have to love the ball distribution. Keep everyone involved. Curry against Jones. Gafford. Here's Kuzma. That one doesn't drop. Excellent D there from Kuminga. Thompson finds Curry to the inside. Here's Looney. And it's in there. And he's now got the double-double. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. Now here's Poole. Jones, the pass to Poole. Looney on the double team. The Wizards need to get off a shot here. Avdia from outside knocks it down from distance. Boy, smart decision from Kuzma right there. Skilled getting the basketball to his teammate. Curry against Jones. Curry passes to Looney. Washington with a rebound. And here's Jones. 
Pass to Abdia. Here's Kuzma. Softly drops in the floater. Kuzma's got 14 points now in the second half. Boy, that's beautiful touch on the floater. And let's remember, not everyone has that shot in their arsenal. Curry passes to Thompson. Here's Pajemski. Back to Thompson. Oh, Clay takes the contact and finishes. Well, he had trouble making shots in the first period, but rounding into himself here in the second. Gafford the screen. Kuzma down low. Kaminga's on him. Jones from outside. And the Wizards with another three. I'll tell you, you are playing with fire anytime you leave this guy open. And they just got burned. And a deep three from Curry. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And it's Poole with the ball for the Wizards. They trail by 11. Kuzma against Kaminga. Kuzma outside. And with that one, the deficit trip to single digits. Kuzma's got 12 now in this quarter. Excellent recognition from Kuzma. Solid running these screen and rolls. Pass to Looney. Here's Pajemski. 121 left in the fourth quarter here. And it's good! He hits another one! My goodness! 50 for the game. Just putting on a show. Washington has gone four of six from deep thus far in the fourth. Kuzma against Kaminga. Pool outside. Pass to Jones. The three. Here's Gafford. That one falls. Eight of ten and scoring with confidence. Man, he's on fire. Playing patient basketball, not forcing shots. Nothing left to do but to watch the clock tick towards zero. Nice victory here for the Warriors. Seemed like the sheer volume of three-pointers today was the deciding factor. <laughs> and they'd hit one and then just dial it up again. And it worked. And this is a nice victory for them. It's win number 14 of the year. Always good to start a season series off with a W. They show tonight they take this team seriously. And the next two matchups between these two should be fun. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for Stephen Curry. No doubt he came to play tonight. This guy has been aggressive and effective. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now for the second. And he sinks the second. Here are the Wizards now with the ball. 11-point game. Kuminga against Kuzma to the middle. Pass to Avdia. The three is up. It's Kuzma with the miss. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Curry finds Thompson. Here's Pajemski. Clock at six. Down low. And Gafford with the block. And that'll be Golden State's ball as it goes out of bounds. Warriors able to keep possession. Clock at two. Here's a three from Paul. The shot, no good. 
And so Golden State takes this one, and by a big margin. A competitive game. You have to feel like this crowd gave them a little extra edge. Yeah, they really fed off the energy. You saw their activity level go up. Just a tremendous performance. Once again, well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. I'm here now with Clay Thompson. And Clay, congratulations on the win. How satisfying is it winning games in front of this devoted crowd? Well, we always want to put on a show for our fans. They deserve it. They show up every single night. And uh, it's just fun to protect home court. It's one of the best places to play in the league, no doubt. Thanks, Clay. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that.